Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another re game recap. Once again, I'm going to be using Carolina on offense and defense. It's my playbooks. I'm uh, going to be going against uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'll be using the Chicago Bears. The reason I don't switch up my team too much is because it's just another variable uh, that uh, is I have to adjust to if I go ahead and switch up teams. So that's why I stay with Chicago because I'm used to the gameplay. I'm used to uh, of, uh, my, my quarterback overthrowing ball. So... Right here, I'm going to be using one of my base defenses, which is going to be the 52. Came out on a cover three. He actually gets a nice little run off the edge uh, and gets uh, a nice little pickup of about five yards or so. So, uh, second down situation, I go ahead and jump into coverage with a cover two shell right here. And um, actually was trying to go ahead and have uh, yellows out there, but right here, Khalil Mack is able to come off the edge and actually clean him up. So, third and ten situation, I go into uh, cover nine out of the nickel defense and actually protect the sticks. And I'm just going ahead and make some reads. And uh, Khalil Mack actually comes off the edge off the opposite side and actually sacks him. So, I decided to go ahead and send the dogs after him, come into uh, basically a, 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 a blitz situation, but I don't blitz up my middle linebackers. So it gives him enough time, and he makes a really good read off of the the, the, uh, the crossing route right there and actually gets a first down. So had a situation to go ahead and get a quick uh, th uh, three and out or four and out. Uh, but I, I gave up a, a, a bad play on that right there. So uh, back into the, uh, the the 52 blitz right here, I do a single high safety, uh, try to send five after him. He actually breaks out. This guy actually scrambled off to the right, but right here he makes a good read. Uh, he did verticals right there and actually gets past my cover, my, my cloud coverage off the right-hand side. You're going to see that happen to me a couple more times. That was one of his reads right there with, with the limited plays that he, he used. He only used maybe about six or seven plays. Uh, right here does a nice little... Um, draw a play to get the ball down to the one yard line and just pounds it in uh, right here with the QB keeper with Big Ben. So down seven to nothing. Um, he's made a couple big plays, but I got him in fourth down situation, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Look at this play right here. My guy falls back and then falls back again, uh, actually after fumbling the ball, and I actually lose six yards when it should have been maybe a second and four. So I go into... Um, a gun empty bunch situation right here. Hits a little crosser. He was actually using man coverage, and I'm going to come back to that a little bit later. So no huddle right here. I see a cover two shell look. I'm going to use uh, curl flats. I'm looking to the, the corner out by the tight end. That should be wide open. And uh, for some reason, I get a little bit happy feet right here. Throw the ball early. This defender comes up, plays it perfectly, and actually goes ahead and knocks the ball out. So instead of giving an opportunity for some easy points, uh, just because I had a couple bad plays happen my way, I'm going to go ahead and just pump the ball away. Uh, and just give it back to him and just try to play on defense uh, because I didn't really see a great offense uh, from him. So right here, going back into the cover three shell, he's playing uh, basically an empty set situation and takes off this quarterback, but I'm going to be able to go ahead and tackle him, for, I think, for like a, a couple-yard gainer right there. So back to the cover two shell again. Uh, once again, he is in an empty set. Uh, go play uh, cross right here, and look at this. Actually, a really good read by him, but the ball sailed on him, and my defender is able to come down with it. The seams is the weak part of that defense, uh, and he actually made the right read. It just the ball sailed on him as far as his quarterback. He might have had some pressure in his face, and that's why he had a bad ball. So check it down to the running back. He comes out and clicks on and actually makes a great play right there. So I come back to... Uh, I'll cover two, Peter, because I saw he's running a lot of cover two, and all I have to do is streak up the tight end. Tight end will be naked on this play. Watch, watch. Cleared out completely. You don't user it. That tight end is going to be wide open. So that's a, that's a play that I actually I, I put in my back pocket for someone who likes to run a lot of cover two and I need to get a first down. And based on the momentum of the game, I need to do that. So I think this is where he started playing a lot of man coverage, and it started messing up my reads right here. So... Um, I try actually no, it's cover two right there, but I'm overthrow the ball. Uh, the ball actually gets past tied. I go into um, the run play, which is a triple option. But look at this defender just come off the edge. No one blocked him at all because the way he lined up his, uh, his thing, and he actually shut down that triple option on the way he was setting himself up. So I do slot post over the middle. Ball sailed on me once again by the by the quarterback. Nothing I could do about it. So I'm going to go and settle for my three. I missed it. Mistimed it. So. I'm giving this guy all different types of opportunities to uh, to stay in this game uh, and be in front of me in this game. So pressure off the edge right there with the cover two. Uh, didn't get block it up correctly. Of course, he no huddles. Once again, I'm going to stay in this cover two shell. 
I need to go and base a line, get my other defender over over the middle right like that. So the pressure is going to come in. I got to take care of the crosser right there. He actually missed throws the ball because the pressure comes in. So third and 15 situation, I'm going to go back into the nickel, uh, cover nine. I'm going to protect the sticks and just let my defenders off the edge do that. He actually did his little wheel route. And my guy goes come down and smacks him down. So fourth and 15 situation. One, once again, playing protect, protect the sticks. I'm, I'm using this defender right over here off to the side. I've got a couple crossing routes that i got to be concerned about. So he's got a little crosser. Comes over with the quarterback. And right here, he just chucks the ball up. My defender's right there. I get a nice little user pick with my defender. And I'm going to go ahead and take the ball down to the 50, down to the 40, down, down to the 42-yard line right there. So minute 43 seconds left. Feeling pretty good about myself. Go back to the gun bunch. Empty set. He's showing me a lot of man on previous plays, so I hit him with a dig route. Nobody in the area. I'm going to have pick up a couple yards after the catch and get it down to the 21. No huddle. Go into um, F, uh, actually trail, and right here I'm looking for the corner route. That should get open against man, man coverage. So defender full pulls down on the little hitch route, and I actually go ahead and hit the little corner route right there and get it down to the four-yard line. So right here I want to chew down the clock as much as possible, so I go with a running play, go with the, the little run. Look at this user play by him. He actually is able to go and suction tackle me right there, get me down, and it's about 18 seconds left to do a little pitch play and actually bottles it up right there. So I take a timeout. Right here I go into uh, the uh, the the, the, the play right there and actually do a little curl on the back inside. That's a the bunch single back and actually hit that in the back inside. There was no defender in the area. So tied 7-7, seven to seven, getting the ball in the second half, feeling pretty good about the situation. He's still doing a lot of man coverage. Uh, nice little run by Howard right there. He switched up his defenders. I caught him on a switch. Now I go ahead and jump into the slide play and that you probably have seen me uh, uh, fe feature right here. Uh, and that defend man defender actually plays that ball perfectly. So now here I go, go into um, basically a circle route by the running back, but actually get rid of the ball a little bit late. Fourth and three situation. He's running all man coverages, and this is just a bad adjustment. I should never have routes on top of each other like that. That was just a bad a bad adjustment, but maybe should, should have had like an out route and maybe a slant on the back end side. That's just bad. Uh, I, th I ended up throwing the interception. It was it was going to be an incomplete pass anyway, so that's just bad. So a little pressure right here. He throws the ball right back to me because he has to get rid of the ball. He didn't. He, what you, if you're using these empty sets and you're, and you're coming after a person with a 52 defense, he's, he can't block it. It's just nothing you can do about it. So going to single back situation, I know he's running a lot of man coverage. I go into uh, corners, streak up my tight end, and basically I'm looking for this little bench route by the slot receiver. Watch him cut and get separation. I'm going to go and hit that, and look at this. I'm off to the 50, spin move right here to the 40, right down to 30, get a little spin move animation again, and get it down to the 15-yard line, uh, down past the 15-yard line to the 13-yard line. So feeling pretty good about it. He's still staying in man coverage. I've got a little um, out route, a deep out route right here. I actually go and catch it and get the animation to fall into the end zone uh, for a touchdown. So up 14-7, to 7, feeling pretty good about this situation right now. So uh, he's back into uh, basically run formation. My defender actually holds, his, uh, holds the edge and actually comes down and, and tackles him. Uh, so he only picked up a couple yards on that. Back to the cover two shell right here. I'm actually dropping guys back in the zones. I think I'm playing the sticks right there. He actually drops down to uh, the flat. I'm able to go and pick that off. Now I go into a man blitz right here. Just to switch things up a little bit, this is something I really haven't been incorporating in the scheme, but look at the edge pressure. It just comes screaming in right there. Uh, and Khalil Mack can actually get him. So now I jump back into cover two because that's basically my, my fallback defense. And I try to play, play the sticks. And this guy makes a perfect read. So right here, he actually holds his blocks. Nobody's coming into the pressure. He finds the back end of the cover, the, the cloud coverage and picks up a first down. I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking the same thing. I should have been in this play, on that particular play. Uh, that would have been a better situation um, because I would have got another sack like that. So I think you know huddles again. Uh, I go ahead and jump into a man blitz. And one of the things I do, I try to change up my defense as much as possible. I don't want to like run the same defense over and over again because he, people will do stuff like this. So he had a little slant, I think, on the backside, and he's able to go and pick up some pretty good yards off that. He actually picked up a good um, nine yards, I think, on that play. So going to cover three shell right here, drop back my guys into zones. Um, 
right here. Then I squinch up my line just to kind of give him a little bit different of a look. And uh, they kind of messed up his reads a little bit. He actually throws to the backside. The guy is open, but he overthrows the ball. I actually got a break right there. So fourth and seven situation. I'm actually blitzing the house, and I for some reason I jumped over to the other guy, other defender, and he actually threw at my defender and actually gets away with it and gets it gets it down to the three yard line. So back into an empty set situation. I don't know why I had my line squinched up like that, but he actually takes off his quarterback and gets the ball into the red zone, tying up the score 14 uh, to 14. So back on offense, my goal is just to milk the clock and get down to get a field goal. So right here, I actually go and check it down to the running back out of the fullback, get a nice little animation, get it down to the, the to almost the 45-yard line, almost into his territory. So back to the running play off to the edge right here, get some pretty good blocking. Uh, and a nice little animation to go ahead and get it down to the 50. Uh, so uh, right here, uh, going back to the uh, the run right here, which is the halfback uh, halfback uh, uh, zone, and then now back to the fullback slide right here. And he actually almost takes it away. I go and drop it down to the fullback and pick up uh, pick up some, some good yards. But it's just one, one of the things I'm, I'm just trying to do. Now I go into the empty set. I drop drop it down to the flat defender. Even though his defender's out there, I just want to go ahead and make sure that he protects that type of stuff. And then I go into my cover two beater because he was jumping into a lot of cover two. Streak up the tight end, but this time I wanted to go ahead and drop it down to the running back, make him think about that. And I pick up a good first down. And look at the clock. I'm chewing it down, the clock down. The clock is within a minute and 30 seconds right now. Uh, I do a nice, nice little inside run, get some really good run animation. Ron, Ron uh, Howard um, actually goes ahead and gets me some pretty good yards right there. So now right here, I go into uh, a corner play. He's playing a lot of cover two or, or man coverages, and I take the ball down to the one yard line, and that's pretty much it. He really can't do anything. I'm going to go and milk, milk the clock out and take my field goal and go ahead and pick up the win. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably be rolling into a different playbook. I'll be working on that soon. So I hope you appreciate this stuff, and until next time.